We got your geek news right here, and this week it is a review of Star Wars The Clone Wars. And if I may be so bold, which you I would, very often are, <laughs> I would call this the least disappointing Star Wars film in 10 years, and easily the best directed. But it's certainly not without its fault. Um, being better than the prequels isn't really all that hard, though, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, Star Wars has this innate geeky coolness that George Lucas has kind of been abusing with mediocre crap films for a while now. But this movie is, is really an introduction to an animated television series with amazing production value and lots of lightsaber duels. Right, so let's examine the strange little Star Wars movie and see how strong with the force it is. Mmm, yes! Woo! All right, men, we still got a job to do. Yes, sir. You heard the general. Move it! Would this be a good time to teach you that a Jedi is humble, my young Padawan? Sorry. Just trying to keep the boys inspired is all. So you know what? That was actually a pretty great intro of Ahsoka, uh, but I could have probably done without that nickname Sky Guy. Yeah, that just felt kind of kid-like and weird. But Kenobi and his surrender was great. Mm -hmm. I thought that was some high-end humor. Very for cool Star battle Wars. sequences right there. Yeah. yeah. You know, the whole first third of the film was actually a very satisfying kind of battle sequence wrapped up in a story. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if that's what the whole series is like, it's not going to be disappointing. And you could really tell, actually, where the three episodes of the series started and ended, but I think only if you were really looking for it. And you know what? The, the story is really all that George Lucas contributed to this, and as usual, it's a pretty satisfying story. Mm -hmm. But luckily, there were other people in charge of overall quality. <laughs> Skywalker. I don't talk to separatist scum. You will contact Skywalker now. I will contact Skywalker now. So first off, it was a little weird to have the Warner Brothers intro. Yeah, we're so used to Fox mm. and then going into Star Wars music. So luckily it was slightly different music. But you know what? Holy crap. The ADHD version of Yellow Text Crawl that was like a voiceover. Yeah, and that clips. was very strange. They didn't have the well, the I mean, epic text the crawl. epic text crawl. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm sure if George Lucas could have, he would have shown everything in the original one anyway. So <laughs> that was just a plot device because it was out of money. Yeah. Um, great Yoda voice though. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Really weird with the sharp teeth yeah, thing. I Neither just really noticed that. Yoda before. ever had sharp teeth. <laughs> But in this... uh, but going back to the voices again, they were all pretty faithful to the to the films, even though they didn't actually get the the actors. I mean, Except I loved for Sam, Sam Jackson. Jackson and Christopher Lee. They were yeah. pretty awesome. They I like the guy that did um, Obi Wan Kenobi, even though it wasn't Ewan McGregor. Yeah, it was pretty, so pretty accurate. Good. Now, this is my one major qualm: the motion on Jabba's dancers were terrible, like unforgivably god awful bad. Some things can be covered with this whole caricature explanation, but that was just friggin' awful. I can animate better than that, and I'm terrible. I didn't have a strong feelings about it. <laughs> oh, it was bad. It was really bad. If, you, if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's unforgivable. Well, anyway, we actually saw this movie on a digital projector. So, you know, despite the sterile never touch reality with it, the film was actually quite beautiful. And in Jabba's Palace, there was a pretty great film. Look. Yeah, surprisingly. It, it had great cinematography. Even though it was so far as CG. a movie yeah. that CG could have cinematography. Exactly. And you know what? Um, not to knock John Williams anyway, obviously he's known for his epic, epic scores, but this movie had pretty cool music. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot cooler than your average yeah. Star Wars music. This was really good. I liked it. <laughs> and, and the use of the cantina band ah, with the that slinky was jazz. Hilarious. That was very cool. It was good to see them back. Now you die. Okay, the variety of the clone troopers under the helmets, that was cool. The different haircuts, the yeah, different styles. Yeah, the real like, personalization of them. I thought yeah. that was very cool. Uh, the battle droid personalities were also fun, but it got a little over the top. Ugh, to the God, point where you, know, you could really tell that it was targeted towards children. Yeah, it got a little kiddie, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to lie. But, and I didn't, speaking of kids, I didn't expect Jabba's son to be a bowling ball with a tail. I didn't, yeah, I didn't expect him to be so 
adorable. I, I don't know actually. what I was expecting. This, uh, <laughs> and then Santa. Zero, which was an interesting character. In yes. Itself. Uh, Santa a lot like Eric Cartman. That was very odd. And then when he says run for it, uh, and then he just sort of slums away walk. slowly. <laughs> that was pretty, I, I thought that was fun. Hilarious. Now, I've got to say, there was more emotion at the very end of this film between a CG Anakin Skywalker and a CG hologram Padme in 10 seconds than there was in two entire movies between Hayden and Natalie. And that's because George Lucas is a bad actor's director. I'm sorry. I'm sad to say I'd have to agree with that, yeah. though. I thought, yeah. Well, that's a whole different discussion. Oh, my God. Just better written everything about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad this series is actually coming out. Um, but was it necessary for it to be a theatrical movie, guys? What do you, you think? You know what? I, I would say not really. Mm. But that. But I'm saying that knowing that I've got a pretty sweet home theater I yeah, get to watch this kind of we, stuff on. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know what? This gives you the opportunity to watch some sweet TV at a movie theater for like 10 bucks. So. Yeah, and this was actually totally a big screen commercial, but it didn't feel like that for a second, did yeah, it? Yeah, that's the trick. It didn't feel like it. And for me, it redeemed my Star Wars theatrical experience just that little bit. 